everybody. Um, gonna be like a quick video. Just putting on some accessories. So I've got the PWR kind of getting worked. Um, I got some accessories on it, like the captain's bridge. I've got the bow mount plate installed, um, which I can show that, but I'm gonna do another video on that. But today, we're gonna talk about the one objective uh, accessory plates that you can put on the side. So what this does is basically gives you a lot more space. Uh, gives you places for tools, things like that, just stuff. Like for me to clean up my deck space area, because um, I hate when stuff's just kind of moving around. The RBR is a little different just because I'm dealing with less space, but with this, it's gonna be the lake boat, it's gonna be the comfort boat, I'm gonna do whatever I want with this. So, uh, let's get cracking on it. All right, so, like I said, here's the plate. Uh, there's one, two, three, four bolts right here. They're just regular quarter 20 bolts. Just the uh, short ones that come from the factory. You're gonna replace those with these extended quarter 20 from uh, uh, one objective so it's just basically getting that and then lining it up now with anything else that is uh, you know this type of plastic they won't all come perfect like right from the line so all you got to do just get a drill bit put in the hole like this hole just needs to come out a little bit All you're doing is opening it up a little bit. Now you just put it on there. And like I've said on every other install video like I've ever really done, never over tighten. So I use this Craftsman. It's a little lazy man screwdriver, but it doesn't like over tighten or kill anything. So you know, obviously line up your first hole. This thing just zip it. Don't tighten it on the way because you're gonna have to be able to move it a little bit. And then I always go opposite side to opposite side. Make sure my I'm lined up here in the middle, which I am. Like that, and then your last one. I mean, it's really that simple. Um, you know, and then just do like, you know, half turn, quarter turn after just to really snug it up. Obviously, as you tighten them, they're gonna get looser somewhere else because you're crushing it down to the body of the boat but yeah you just tighten it up uh so the only thing i've heard like the negative it's like oh well obviously you lose the track that's right here well this plate's designed to put track on so you just get the yak gadget track or yak attack track put the track on i mean and you're done it's, re it's really simple um the big plus that I have for this that I'm kind of excited about is um, my NK300 will be on the back, the XI3 will be on the front. I'm going to put the NK100 uh, controller over on this side. I'm going to kind of jerry rig it with a uh, quarter, uh, quarter 20 stud. So I may go through probably this first hole that I did, kind of right here, go through that first hole. And just put the uh, um, controller there, and then that'll kind of suck it into the boat a little bit. And then I'm going to offset my uh, my rod storage, you know, my yak gadget side stagers, uh, rod stagers right to the side, so it doesn't get in the way. That is the only pain of the e or, uh, RVR is my throttle control kind of limits one whole side unless I kick my rods way out which kind of limits then me landing fish from the whole side of my boat. So yeah, I just, uh, that's the plan. So we'll keep going. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and we'll have a couple more and then uh, install videos and at the very end, we'll do a whole walkthrough of the boat. Thanks guys.